Chewy and buttery caramel surrounded by honey roasted peanuts and creamy milk chocolate is a classic combination and makes for the perfect chocolate bar. This bar is reminiscent of one of my childhood favorites, the O. Henry bar. So I couldn't help but tear into one and see if it was the bar, just as I remembered as a child. After cutting into the bar, I noticed that the caramel is not the same caramel I remembered. It now resembles more of a nougat appearance and it has a short texture rather than a pull from a chewy caramel. It's sweet and enjoyable, however the texture is not the same as I remember. So I'm going to recreate for you the bar from my childhood memories. So for this bar, I'm starting with the caramel. Combine the cream, sugar, corn syrup, and salt. Corn syrup is added to this recipe to control crystallization. You can also use honey, as it will also prevent the sugar from crystallizing during the cooking process. Stir the ingredients to combine and cook over medium heat until the mixture reaches 115 degrees Celsius. As the caramel is cooking, the water is evaporating, increasing the sugar concentration to reach the ideal consistency. Once the caramel has reached the temperature of 115 degrees Celsius, add the room temperature butter and continue to cook to approximately 125 degrees Celsius. This will help to create a chewy yet slightly firmer set. Want to learn more about caramels? Check out my video here on how to make soft and chewy salted caramels. Test the set of the caramel by placing a small sample in a bowl of cold water. If the caramel comes out in a soft form but still retains its shape, then this is a good sign that the caramel has achieved a perfect chew. Add the vanilla into the pot and give it a good swirl to incorporate. Pour the caramel into a lined container or, as I'm demonstrating, onto a silicon mat with caramel rods to frame and contain the caramel as it cools and sets. Once the caramel is set, remove the caramel rods. Transfer the caramel onto a cutting board and use a sharp chef's knife to slice into the caramel bars. Lightly oil the knife to prevent the caramel from sticking to the blade. For this recipe, I cut the caramel into 20 equal bars, so there's plenty to share for yourself and for your friends. Separate the caramel bars onto a tray or the cutting board to prevent them from sticking while you're preparing your chocolate. I'm using honey roasted peanuts, as the touch of honey adds a little something extra to these candy bars. With the flat of your palm, lightly crush the peanuts with the flat side of your chef's knife. You can also crush the peanuts with the bottom of a pan if you feel more comfortable. The peanuts should be fairly large to provide great texture to the finished chocolate bars. Melt the chocolate over a pot of lightly simmering water. Remove the chocolate from the heat and crystallize or temper the chocolate. Avoid using baking chocolate or candy melts as the result is just not the same. Check out my video here as I show you how to crystallize chocolate. Transfer the crystallized chocolate into a container that will fit the caramel bars. Ideally, you want to use a flat-bottomed rectangular container. Stir in those honey-roasted peanuts and let's get ready to dip. Place a caramel bar into the chocolate. Be sure to completely cover the caramel and add some of those crunchy roasted peanuts on top. Using dipping forks or regular dining forks, pick up the bar and gently scrape the excess chocolate and peanuts from the bottom of the bar. Transfer onto a lined tray and allow the bars to set. During the dipping process, feel free to double the quantity of the chocolate and nuts to make the dipping process a little bit easier. Plus, you'll have extra chocolate left over to make a chocolate bark. You could add raisins or pretzels to your remaining chocolate. But let me know what other inclusions you would add to your chocolate bark. These chocolate bars are chewy with the buttery caramel, crunchy with the honey roasted peanuts, and creamy smooth with the milk chocolate. Store your chocolate bars away from direct light in an airtight container and at cool room temperature. These chocolate bars will last for many weeks, even months, if they last that long. 
Let me know in the comments what your favorite candy bar was growing up. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, give it a like and subscribe as it helps the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification so you know when my next video is out. See you next time for another awesome video. Cheers.